I'm studying the honours degree in physics and instrumentation and it is one of the most diverse physics degrees you can ever do. So it covers everything from electronic instrumentation, computerised instrumentation systems, we study programming, we also study physics and metrology which is the study of SI base units and uncertainties. As a part of the programme in third year we actually had to embark on a three month work placement scheme. So it was either mandatory three months or optional six months. So I took the optional six months and I did my work placement with P&O Maritime down the docks. So when I was there I worked on the Tidegate network. So I was working in conjunction with Smart Bay Ireland up in um, Parkmore and we built the data boy that is now situated off the coast of Cork with two wind turbines. Mm -hmm. So as a part of that I chose P&O Maritime because I'm crazy into marine instrumentation and renewable energy systems. So on the data boy they have to have wind turbines and they have to have solar panels in order to operate and send information back to us at the Newport. And as a part of our honours degree, year four, we have to build a project. So my project this year is I'm examining digital zoom on cameras. So I'm building my own digital camera with a CCD chip and a 50 mil achromatic lens, so it's perfect for nature shots. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be just taking a standard shot of a grid and then examining the effects of digital zoom. With digital zoom, you lose so much information about the image and it becomes pixelated so I'm going to examine different ways in that in way that we can actually preserve as much information as possible. So this links into our digital um, signal analysis and image analysis course we did in first semester. So that was an eight week course where we did programming on actual digital systems, we filtered them and we also did image analysis through digital zoom, neighbouring methods and changing aspect ratios.